Get ready people because in this video, we'll show you how to use the Canva Magic AI platform for multiple purposes, such as making your favorite comic book designs and even earning extra income from it. So now let's introduce you all to Magic Studio Canva AI. If you want to use these amazing tools, first you need to understand Canva AI and Magic Studio. Canva AI is an advanced suite of artificial intelligence tools inside the Canva graphic design platform. These AI-powered features make the design process easy and allow users to create high-quality art faster. It has many features such as text-to-image generation where users can create images from text prompts. The tool is useful for creating custom illustrations and characters. So we know that there are countless Canva AI tools. In today's video, what we're going to talk about is how you can give birth to a character and how you can give it life. Well, don't get all excited because we're not going to do some illegal experiments today. But what we are going to do is we will make a prompt. With the use of Canva AI, all you need to have is a lively imagination, and you should have a clear idea of what you want, from hair color to skin color, from gender to height. If you have all of the details of your imaginary character in mind, then behold, as Canva AI will give it life. Don't forget to watch the video till the end because you don't want just to make the character a one-time phony. You want to make it a consistent character that will pop up whenever you want, and we'll reveal the secret to that at the end of the video, so hang on tight. First, we want to get things started. To experiment with different ideas, you'll need access to Canva and a Canva Pro account to use the Magic AI Photo Creation feature. Now, some of you are going to panic that you need to pay Canva money, but don't worry. We are here to teach you how to try Canva AI Pro features without paying a dime. First, you need to go ahead and sign up for Canva by visiting Canva's official website. After you've done that, you start creating an account if you don't already have an account. Click on the sign up button and here you can sign up using your email address, Google account or Facebook account. Now choose the pro plan, then hit the pricing section of Canva. You can find this at the bottom of the homepage or under your account settings. Select Canva Pro, where you will see different plans listed such as Free, Pro and Enterprise. Here's where the real magic comes in. You can just click on the Try Free for 30 Days or Get Started button under the Pro plan and start your free trial. The thing is that Canva offers a 30-day free trial for the Pro plan, so by using this trial, you get to use the Pro features without any payment. While we talk about payment, even for the free trial, you need to enter your payment details, but don't worry, you won't be charged until the trial period ends. Now, to get it started, you'll need to go to the Magic Studio, and right here is the infamous Canvas AI platform. As you can see, it has many functions that are equipped to help your imagination turn into reality. So, we'll find the text to image section of Magic Studio. This feature will let us practice in today's tutorial, and with this function, we can create images with text prompts. How cool is that? In this clip, we can clearly see the Magic Media interface and notice that a little app called Magic Media has just appeared. We'll briefly walk you through the interface. Here you will see that there are three sections, image, video, and graphic. Since we are interested in the image section, let's just select that. This selection will allow us to input prompts that require the creation of images from text prompts, similar to other AI platforms. This one is easier to use and gives out high quality data. As you can see, there are some predefined image styles here that you can choose and work with. Since we have a vague idea about what we want, we need to set the frame size and aspect ratio for the desired images. Everything is set, and now we will finally be able to practice with Magic Media and see how it works. To make it easier, I'll try with a text prompt I had prepared earlier for you guys. Now, let's review everything we have learned to ensure that we are all on the same page. It will be like a step-by-step -step guide to creating characters with Canva Magic AI. First, access Canva Pro, then open Magic Studio. After opening it, select Magic Media, then choose the Image section. After doing that, you need to set your preferences, and then we will teach you how to continue after this step. 
Now, you need to enter your text prompt for the character you want to create. Be as detailed as possible to get the best results. For example, you need to input something like a cute little girl with a smile on her face who is 166 centimeters tall. She's wearing a pink bow and is in a yellow raincoat and is playing in the rain. She has brown colored short hair with black colored eyes. You need to make it as detailed as possible and don't forget to give your character a seed number and a name so that you can work well and consistently. If you are done with your prompt then all you need to do now is click on the generate button to see your character come to life. This advanced AI will make sure that the text you just gave to it will result in the most accurate image based on your precise description. This is a non-mandatory step because sometimes you might not be able to get the exact characters you want, so you have to refine them. Canva has a feature that allows you to edit the image further to ensure it meets your desired outcome. The final steps involve the simple function of saving and exporting. That is only possible after you're done with your character. Save the image. You can also export it in various formats depending on where you plan to use it. We've mentioned it once, but because of how important it is, we will go into detail about how your character stays consistent. So, you need your same character to perform different tasks, and that will definitely take more than one try on the prompt. So, you absolutely need to give it an identifier like a unique and popular seed number. If you do that, then the magic AI will realize that you want the said seed number to perform something else. By doing this, you are saving a ton of time while giving yourself a lot of new options to experiment with the previous character or start something completely new with a different seed number. The tools that we have just mentioned are just some of the many features of Canva AI. Thanks a lot for watching this video till the end. We hope you learned a lot from it. And if you have any queries, then let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.